Ciao everyone, Beth with Thimble Hooks, and today I'm going to show you how to do the baby booty sole for every one of my baby boots. Baby boots, baby shoes, baby slippers, whatever they are, you'll need this guy right here. So I have a whole bunch of different colors. You can see how they use, how I use them on my booties. This one has two colors. This one has a single color, but there's doubled. They're doubled up. So you can see how that one looks. And this one has two colors again. That's where the pink stripe comes from. Every one of my boots will use two. And you can do whatever colors you want, every mix and match. thought this would be the appropriate place to start since I'm going to be putting quite a few of my baby booty patterns out on YouTube very soon. So you will need this always. So start here and then you can move on to any of my booty patterns. So I'm going to start now. We'll get started. I have, um, let's see, I have... Karen Simply Soft, this is Robin's Egg. What a great shade of blue, isn't that just fun? It's called Robin's Egg, which is a perfect name. I love it. And even though this tells me I should use a 5, 5 millimeter hook, I'm using a 4. And I do that because we want nice tight stitches and we want it to stay small. So I'm going to use my little Ebony Furl Streamline today because I love this hook. So I'm going to move these guys aside right now. And you can see all these different, what it looks like in different colors. This one is all swirly. You can do almost anything that you want. Changes the look of the booty drastically. So I'm going to use Robin's Egg because that's very different than all of the other ones that I have sitting here. I'm going to turn those around. Alright, I'm going to make a slip knot any old way. Whichever way you like to. Everybody does it a little bit differently, but it's all the same in the end. And then we're going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine and 10. And the very first chain that you can actually work in, which is the second chain from the hook, right here, you want to put two single crochet. One and two. The next five are just single crochets. One in each of the next five chains. And the next two, three chains left, but in the next two you get half double crochet, which is yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, pull through all three, and do that one more time. Two half double crochets, pull through all three. On this very last stitch right here, we're going to put in eight double crochets in that same stitch. One. Two, three, work, five, six, seven, and eight. should look like this so far. We're going to work down the other side of the chain, right in here. We work down the other side. We worked up this way, around the corner, and now we're going to work back down the other side. And since this is symmetrical, we're going to do the same thing we did over here, but in reverse order. And we're going to tuck in this little tail. Then we never have to really talk about him again, which is always nice. It's always good when you can have a tail you don't have to weave in later. It just kind of disappears. So the next two will be half double crochets, which is a yarn over, pull through, and three loops on the hook. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-
pull through all three and do that one more time and going around that beginning tail so he's gonna start to disappear and that'll be great so awesome that way all right and the next five are the single crochets that match the other side five single crochets there's one there's two there's three and four and five now you have one little chain right here left and that one gets two single crochets one and two and that is the end of round one you can see it already starts to look a little bit like the bottom of a little boot. This is the heel back here and we increased up here with the double crochets to make the toe. We're going to do round two. There's only three rounds in this. It goes really fast. So we're going to do round two. We're working around again all the way around again. So the very first stitch in round two you get two single crochets in that stitch one and two and the same in the next stitch two single crochets one and two and now working up the side towards the toe the next seven each get one single crochet so there's one I'm gonna do seven two three four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to increase the toe one more time. So this next stitch gets a half double crochet. It's a little bit bigger than a single crochet, so there we go. And then in the next six stitches going around the toe, each one of these next six stitches gets two half double crochets. And the easiest way for me to do that, in my own head, I count to 12 so that I don't get I don't get lost and only do five stitches and end up with 10. So we're going to do two in each of the six next six stitches, two half double crochets. So yarn over, pull through, through all three. There's one, two, and then the next stitch is three and four. And the next stitch is five and six. and then seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve we just increase the toe we're going to work back down the side again opposite of what we did here so one half double crochet to round out that toe and then seven single crochets leading back down towards the heel one, two, oopsie, three, four, five, six, and seven. And in the very last two stitches, this stitch and this stitch each gets two single crochets. So there's one and two in that stitch and three and four. There we go. Whoops. And three and four. There's four. See, it's getting bigger. Starting to look like a shoe. There's the heel. There's the toe. One more round. That's all we have left. Yay. This goes really fast. All right, so we're going to work around this way again. And round three, you start with a single crochet and another single crochet in the next stitch. Now in this stitch, we need three single crochets, all in that same stitch. So one, two, and three. 
helps poof out this baby, the heel just a little bit more. Now in the next 10, right down, going down here towards the toe, the next 10 are it's one single crochet each. So this is easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. And the next two stitches, this stitch and this stitch both get two single crochets each, so there's one and two, and three and four. Around the toe right here, the next six stitches each get one single crochet. So there's one, and two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to work down the other side, back towards the heel of the booty. The next two stitches each get two single crochets, just like they did on this side. So there's one and two, and three and four, and you guessed it, ten, all the way down. The next ten stitches each get one single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Almost done, only a couple stitches left. This next stitch right here gets three single crochets in that same stitch. So there's one, two, and three. And our last two stitches are just a single crochet each. One and two. And we are officially done with this baby booty sole. Isn't that amazing? That only takes about five, six minutes. Isn't that nice? The only thing you really need for this now is a scissors. We're going to snip that off, pull him through, just flip it over and I go right through the very first stitch and pull it all the way to the back so both of these are talking to each other on the wrong side. You can see that the wrong side and the right side, these will end up on the wrong side. There you have it. Baby booty sole. And anytime you make one of my boots or my little shoes, you're going to need two. And you would end up sandwiching them together like this with the tails inside. And then they will just disappear as you start working the booty. Cut those shorter and you'll be all good. So that's where I wanted to start. I'm going to have baby booty patterns out quite often. I wanted to just start with this guy right here. The so baby booties and baby shoes are quick, easy, so cute, and um, I'm going to have several of them out very soon. So this is always a place to start. Make a bunch of these, whatever color you want. I often use just the browns, and this is bone, and this is top, or the heather gray, or black, or white. I just have a bunch of them made up. So I'm ready to go anytime I wanted to make something. But if you have something specific in mind, make it a fun color. You can do that too. But there you have it. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your support for my small business. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and I'm going to see you soon. Bye. Thanks.